Hello there, I'm Shane Lucas. I'm Managing Director of AVN Inspiring Accountants. I like to identify accountants throughout the UK who are making much more of a profound difference to their clients by taking the time to assess the data in the accounts, taking the time to get to know their clients much better and the ins and outs of their business so that they can provide much more support and help to their clients in growing their businesses. Today I'm interviewing Dion Sherwood. Dion, please introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Dion Sherwood. I've been in the profession for rather a long time, since the early 80s, so I've seen a massive amount of change within the profession in that time. I set up my own practice in 2003 in Oxfordshire. I grew that practice and in 2012, my husband and I saw a change in our circumstances which gave us the opportunity to move to West Wales. Dion, tell me, what is it that you do for your clients that maybe most other accountants don't get the opportunity to do for theirs? I think a lot of them are actually getting more contact from me because I'm sort of saying, I'm, I'm doing their compliance work, but then sort of saying, well, hang on a minute, what about this? What about that? The business advice, the helping to grow their business or move their business in the direction that they want it to, because people don't necessarily want to grow their business, but they want to do something with their business. They've got plans. And those sorts of clients are um, open to hearing my suggestions and then that in turn they say oh you've done this for me How, could you have a look at this for me so it, it sort of builds on itself I, I have this sort of mantra I say if you get too big for me to handle that's a success yeah I've got experience of a number of industries but I want a client that I can build a relationship with so one that I can I see them on a regular basis so that we get to know each other and I'm in in the loop with what is happening and the developments that are happening in their business because if you if you're not aware of what's going on you can miss things so you can miss opportunities for the client because they haven't told you what's happening if if you're in contact with them on a regular basis you know what's happening you can identify any pitfalls. You can identify any opportunities for the client. I, w I want my clients to grow so big that they have to find a bigger firm of accountants. One of the things I know that you do is produce a benchmark report for your clients. Just tell me a little bit more about that. So it, it enables us to have a conversation about what they're doing well, what's not doing so well, um, what they can do to improve their current performance or their most recent performance and so it acts as a very good starting point because it, it then helps because oh, we all like to know how we're doing in, in relation to the competition and it gives clients an idea of how they are performing in relation to the competition are they doing better are they doing worse oh we want to do better than that sort of thing so it, it, it helps a client but also it then gives the conversation starter of, okay, so we're not doing so well on this. What can we do to improve it? What, what does your ideal, your perfect client look like? So my best clients, I see every month. My best clients, I do a lot of work for them, but that's because I know their business really well. So in many ways, it's almost, it's not an FD service, but it's, it's heading towards providing an FD role because my knowledge, my skills, my expertise, I mean, I have dealt with clients with a 28 million pound turnover, but actually I'd rather deal with clients that fall in the definition of a small company, although that is a 10 million pound turnover. So it's not that small really. Um, but something in that, that realm is what I, like to work with. I've got experience of working with clients that have gone through the management buyout process. So I've, got, I've picked up two or three clients that 
they've either gone through the management process, management buyout process, and they want a new accountant because they're not sure about the accountant that they're acting for. Well, one of my long-standing clients, I was acting for the company. One of the directors bought out from the 95% shareholding director, which involved a lot of borrowing and forecasting and stuff. Uh, I was with the client every step of the way, providing the information, providing the advice. So it's helping uh, helping clients that they go through the management buyout process, which can be quite tricky and quite daunting because you think, oh yeah, I can run this company, but it's persuading a funder that they can run this company because invariably they need to borrow money to be able to buy the company. Could you give me an example of where you've gone the extra mile for a client? A client of mine said to me a couple of months ago, every department in his company has been audited by somebody else. So they've got IO 9000 and ISO 9001 and something like that. He said, but nobody's looked at the finance department. <clears throat> Could you audit the finance department? So last month I went to see them and I sat down with the client for the whole day and we discussed everything. We went through everything that they do. I made notes. I'm still in the process of putting the report together because actually, as you might guess, it's quite a sizable thing. But one of the things that's come out of this, and which I was talking to Andrea last week, is systems. They've got no system documentation. Uh, so you've got members of staff, oh, this is how I do it, but there's nothing written down. So if that member of staff is not there, nobody else knows how to do it. Um, so the fun the main thing that's going to come out of this report aside from the oh, little oh you should do this you should do that is system document your systems i can help you with that i've got some software that'll help you have company-wide systems so we'll see if something comes out of it but it does mean that i am much more proactive with my clients in advising beyond the compliance stuff. What, uh, what message would you like to give to a prospective client right now that's just watching this video and thinking, you know, uh, Dion uh, is someone I think I'd like to work with. Maybe she can help me outgrow her. Uh, what would your message be and certainly how, how could they contact you best? If a business is looking for something a bit different beyond looking at preparing a set of accounts and a tax return, if they want some help in growing their business or repositioning their business or preparing their business for sale or even if they're looking to do something different with their business doing something with a business is like turning around a big ship it's a slow and it's a difficult process and it's fraught with danger um, and that's where I like to be able to help because everybody has a plan for what they want to do. They might want to grow their business and sell it. They might want to grow their business so they can pass it down. They might not want to do anything with their business. They might actually just want to try and find somebody that will take it off their hands. Different people have different plans. Different people want the business to run without them so that they can go and spend more time having holidays or spend time with family, friends and stuff. So it's just understanding that different people want different things. And I do my best to help clients achieve what they want so if there's anybody out there that has a goal that they want to achieve and they don't think their current accountant is helping them or doesn't seem to be on the same page as them then they find me on email dion at dssbh.co.uk go to my website uh, pick up the phone well, it's been an absolute pleasure interviewing you, Dion, and uh, clearly you have a great mission, which is obviously to help business owners grow their business, 
to the point where they no longer require your services and they can move up to another level themselves. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much, John. All the best. Bye-bye.